Well, do you ever walk and get a pain in your leg when you exercise? It goes away when you stop. You might actually have a bigger problem. You might have peripheral arterial disease, or also known as PAD, and it's actually more common than you might think. So here to tell us more about that today and the condition is Dr. Mark Jansen with Baptist Health in Arkadelphia. Thank you for joining us You're this welcome. morning. Good to see you. You know, this is something that uh, maybe a lot of people don't aren't aware about. You know, when you run or walk, you get pains in your legs. Those are muscle pains, but this could be something much bigger than that. Well, PAD or peripheral arterial disease is to the leg what CAD or coronary artery disease is to the heart. So this is a pain in one or more muscles in one or both legs related to exercise. And as we'll see in a few minutes, you can have blockage in the leg and not even have pain. If you have pain, we have to have Latin words for everything. You know medicine. <laughs> of we can't course. just talk in English. Something that you can so, hardly read. So if you have pain in the leg due to exercise, we have a term for that. We call that claudication. And what that basically is is a reproducible pain that's brought on by exercise, relieved by rest, and the problem is a mismatch between the amount of blood that's coming down into the leg and the amount of exercise. So the, the blood's coming down uh, carrying oxygen, the leg is doing exercise, it needs oxygen, and when those get out of balance, you have pain. The more severe to the blockage, the more pain you have, and it may get so bad that you just have to stop what you're doing. It shuts you down. Really? Now, what kind of pain is it? Is it a sharp pain? Is it kind of a muscle weakness pain? It, it's, it, it could, it's typically a cramping type okay. pain. And, and the problem is, this is, this is a common area for the blockage, and so basically you have arteries, large arteries in the groin, and, and commonly what you're going to have is an artery that would be wide open, but in, 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 right, but in terms of PAD, you're going to have a blocked artery that has cholesterol plaque in it. And so when you have that problem, that's when you get the pain. Now the risk factors, if you're over 40, uh, I talk about the three highs, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high blood fat. So if you have any of those medical problems, and if you smoke, that's going to create the problem as well. How about treatments? Well, treatments are available. The, the pain's going to be anywhere from, from the butt all the way down to the leg. And so if, if we have that problem, we know that we've got to figure out what the problem is first. So we have to have a test, and we have a test called an ABI ankle brachial index and you know medical tests you think they're going to poke a hole in me it's going to hurt this nervous is, yes. yeah this is really pretty easy test we take your blood pressure in your leg and 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 measure that at the ankle we take the blood pressure in the arm traditionally and this is called the brachial pressure it's just a math problem you put the ankle on top put the brachial on the bottom and divide if the number's one or higher you're probably normal if the number's substantially below one in that situation you have a problem with pad so treatments are going to be uh, first and foremost, look at the risk factors. We're looking for a pill to make you less than 40. If you're over 40, we hadn't quite solved that. Maybe <laughs> that's medical mystery. maybe that's the next time. Okay. I hope so. But uh, you know, get with your provider. Control your blood pressure. Control your diabetes. Control your cholesterol. And if you smoke, you have to quit smoking. There's just no choice. You have to stop smoking. It's such a big deal in this in this problem. So first of all, risk factors. Secondly, exercise. Walk to the point where you hurt stop, rest, and then start walking again. Go for an hour, about three days a week will help. We have drugs. We've got a drug called Pletal, which dilates the arteries, it slicks up the platelets so the blood moves through that area better. We also have uh, another drug called Plavix. You'll see ads on TV for that. Interestingly, aspirin, which works pretty well for the heart, does not work so well for the leg. There's, there's angioplasty. We can stretch the arteries out, put stents in. Uh, there's an ocelot that's come on the market. It's a critter that basically cores out the artery. And then finally, the, the gold standard is bypass surgery. All right, we do have your information here for you. You can always call Baptist Health. If you have any questions, Dr. Mark Jansen, thanks for joining us You're this welcome. morning. All right, we'll be back with much more coming up next.